Hey guys, today we'll be doing some of the more uh, difficult or not even difficult, just some examples of things that we have learned earlier in our previous lectures, that is kinematics. So we'll be uh, talking about speed, displacement, velo uh, acceleration, all these uh, terminologies and we'll be saying, uh, seeing different questions on these. So first of all, and I have a new chalkboard for you guys, so you will be able to see that there are more options here and I have an option here as well. Anyway, let me just, and I have more chalks. So let me just take blue chalk here. And this is acting up a little. Let's increase the size. Okay, let's see our first question. Our first question says, the Lamborghini Mercilago can accelerate from 0 to 2.78 meters per second from a velocity of 0 to a velocity of 27.8 meters per second in a time of 3.40 seconds. Determine the acceleration of this car in both meters per second square and we'll just ignore this one and we'll just do this one for the SI unit. Meters per second square. Let's first write our data. So we are doing some examples here. Let's first just write our data. So the Lamborghini Murcielago can accelerate from zero meters per second. So our initial velocity becomes zero meters per second, and it accelerate. It can accelerate from zero to twenty-seven point eight meters per second in a time of three point four zero seconds. So the final velocity becomes 27.8 meters per second and all this in a time of 3.40 seconds. The question says find the acceleration of the, uh, the Lamborghini uh, Mercilago. So, we all know, and if you don't remember, just revise the previous videos, that acceleration is given by change in velocity divided by change in time. So, change in velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity divided by change in time. So we already have the change in time. We know that this is the time interval, 3.40 seconds. We know the time interval. But we have to calculate the change in velocity. The change in velocity here, as we can see, is 27.8 minus 0 divided by 3.40 seconds. So this is simply 2.78 divided by 3. Point four zero. Sorry, this is 27.8 if I'm correct. Yes, this is 27.8 divided by 3.40. Use your calculators to get the final answer, which would be 8.177 or 8.176 meters per second square. So this is the acceleration of your favorite Lamborghini, Mercilago you like it at all. So this is the acceleration of that car. Now we know how to use these formulas. Let's just switch to one more example. And as we know Lamborghini is one of the fastest cars. This example is again about one of the fastest people on earth. So let's see who we're talking about here. In the, th in the 2008 Olympics, Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt shocked the world as he ran the 100 meter dash in 9.69 seconds. Determine Usain's average speed for the race. So Usain shocked the world by running or by covering a distance or displacement of 100 meters in a time of 9.69 seconds. So, 
this is the same. This is same here. Let's see, let's be intuitive and he covered this distance of 100 meters in simply 9.69 seconds. Now, what are they asking? They're asking us what was his average speed? What was his average speed with which he was running? What was this speed? So, this is the original point, this is the final point. So we know the difference, as in we know the change in distance that he had covered, which was 100 meters. So the formula is simply velocity average. Always remember that this is average velocity is equal to distance or displacement divided by time. The displacement is 100. The time is 9.69. So 100 divided by 9.69 you can use your calculators here and you will get 10.32 meters per second so these were the simple examples but in the next videos we'll be going on towards the graphs and we'll see how uh, we progress from the simpler examples to the more difficult ones so stay tuned guys thanks for watching